say this is not what I was going for. Like it's meant to be like proper sizzling and hello 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 good evening people welcome back to my channel it's Cassie Doo -doo. Right. right so tonight I am going to be making some sea bass and some grilled plantain grilled sweet potato and a bit of fried stew to go with it. Now that sounds delicious. Yes, my mouth is watering already. Should we get into it? Let's do it. We're going to need some plantain, red pepper, onions, sliced up sweet potato, and sea bass. Okay, so with the sea bass, I'm going to season it very, very lightly because I just feel like the beauty is in its taste. So not too much seasoning, just a bit of salt on both sides. And I think also because I'm going to be adding some suya pepper, probably doesn't need much seasoning. Yeah, let's put a bit of suya pepper on there. Sprinkle a bit more suya pepper on there. Bit of oil to keep it moist. I know I say I'm going to keep the seasoning a bit light, but I'm just going to add a bit of smoky jalapeno and some roasted garlic salt. Seasoning. Oven it goes. I've already got the sweet potato chunks. I'm just gonna spray this with a bit of olive oil as well, make it nice and moist so it doesn't dry out. I've left the skin on actually because I, I like it to be very crispy. So we'll see how that goes. This is my first time of trying it actually, so I hope it works. Oh gosh, so how are you guys doing? I know it's been such a crazy day today just bad news everywhere it's just so sad um just tried to stay sane by doing this to be honest with you people just dying it's just really sad it's scary which means obviously you know we just need to stay strong and just read the word and just kind of keep our heads off and mind focused on god because everything going on right now it's mad. It's one RIP or the other. I can't deal. Right, okay, so this is gonna go in the oven. I'm gonna let it grill as well. All right then, on to the next one. Now that's in the oven. Plantain is gonna go in. And it's a knife. Right then. So, it's gonna cut off the plantain. It's gonna go in. I'm just gonna put them in my slices nice funky slices so today has been all right homeschooling has been going well to be fair i had a day off today so i'm in good spirit <laughs> oh you should have seen the huffing and puffing that i was going in the house today because my husband did the homeschooling you know what i didn't even bother saying anything i'm just like are you guys all right there brilliant when i say to you Men are so different. Mom, are you in the way. making dinner? Yes, darling, I'm making dinner. You excited about that? No, no, no. No, you're not? Know? Alright, that's charming. Right, right. Guys, 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 step up the bucket. You know, why are you always shouting? I'm not even cool. You're not your best friend. Okay, so now that I've cut up the plantain, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to spray it just so that it can be moist as well, just before it goes into the oven. Why do you have to spray it? Just to make it a bit moist. Why do you have to make it moist? Just so that it won't dry out. <laughs> right then, so. Don't wanna go tidy up the living room? No. Uh, okay. Honestly. Right, okay, so now the plantain is going to go straight into the oven just so that everything can kind of grill at the same time. Does this look cool? I don't know, like a part of me thinks it looks cool and a part of me looks like I... It doesn't look cool. Anyway, whatever. 
homeschooling honestly yeah my husband was going mental today it is so funny mind you this was the second time i feel like the first time he did it he had such a great time so oh, this is brilliant this is amazing this is great i mean i love this idea of homeschooling it makes me bond with my child so differently yeah he wasn't really saying much of that today today he was going mad he's like you're not focusing you need to focus focus now listen what's 19 plus one I'm like, babe, you don't ask him what's 19 plus 1. You have to show him how to add 19 sticks plus one extra stick for it to give you 20 sticks. Like, it's different from the way we were taught. Like, come on. Like, no, I don't agree. Oh, like, first of all, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> this morning I went for a run. But my, my meetings at work were not interrupted, everything went smoothly. <sighs> you know, all I could just hear is oh, half an up. I'm like, are you guys alright? Do you want me to make you a nice cup of tea or anything? Okay, I'll just leave you to it. When it was lunchtime, I thought, you know what, it would be nice that I kind of make them lunch just to make things a little bit easier for my husband. But, um, Let's just see I'm having a very great day. I feel very refreshed, relaxed. It's nice to take a break from this, honestly, because it's a bit much, to be honest with you. It's a bit full on. So, yeah, and that's the reason why I can actually make a better dinner than we had yesterday. Yesterday we had pizza. Because I'm just like, do you know what? I can't be asked. It's not the end of the world if you don't. It's not the end of the world. I mean, come on now. Right then, so, right, let's close that off. Right then, so now that the plantain is in, fish is in, um, to make the dip, it's gonna be the fried stew. It's gonna be the next thing we're gonna make. Let's get into it. I love this. I love this. This, is, this has got to be one of my favorite foods, actually. Right, okay, on to the next part now. The pepper is blended. I am just going to put some hot oil. The thing about African food is we use a lot of oil. Honestly, that has got to stop. Some things just don't taste good without it. But obviously, we don't use any. So I'm just going to put the oil in there. Oh gosh, that's a bit much. Oof. Oh, that's actually a lot. Okay, so I've literally brought that down to half. Because honestly can't really be promoting unhealthy eating right okay so now that that is frying now that this is getting hot um i am going to wait for it to be like proper hot and then pour the pepper in and then listen to it sizzle honestly this might sound weird but i actually like that sound like it just makes me feel oh i'm cooking something right let me check on the stuff in the oven put it in a way oh they look good do you want to see it you want to see it i don't know if i should show you because my oven is a bit mucky but i'll take a rest yeah baby oh, i'm just going to add some Okay, so whilst I'm waiting for this oil to get really hot, I think I'm going to do the most dreading task that I dislike doing in the kitchen, and that is emptying the dishwasher. Better do it, might as well. There's always something to do. Better get on with it then. Right, okay, well, that did not go down well at all because now it turns out that my dishwasher is blocked. <laughs> you know what? I don't even know how I feel about that because I'm actually like, uh, I'm not gonna wash dishes with my phone. Like, no, my dishwasher is blocked basically. Blocked dishwasher. Like, seriously. A blocked dishwasher. 
I pretty much run this dishwasher twice a day. Like seriously, I cannot afford to have a blocked dishwasher. Not in this period. But you know what? We move one problem at a time. Okay, so now that this oil is nice and hot and sizzling, I would assume that when I put this pepper in, it's going to sizzle. I hope that works. It should work. Here goes. Okay, so we're gonna leave that to fry and sizzle a bit. I don't know whether or not to cry or laugh. Like, how can I? Hopefully Google can come to my rescue because I've tried to see what's going on in there but I can't even see anything. All I can see is water. <sighs> Seriously, man, not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Everything was going so well. <laughs> Everything was going so well. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm hopeful. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to get something done on, um, find something on YouTube that could help me. So, uh, right, okay, we're just going to move on. So, looking forward to this lovely food. Hopefully, it tastes good. Yeah, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> Right, let's just watch this bubble, shall we? Right, listen guys. <laughs> um, okay, so whilst I was trying to adjust my um, mini tripod um, to get a very good view of the stew frying, this is what happened. It broke. It literally rope like when i say to you yeah the enemy's proper trying to frustrate me tonight but you know what like i say we move so this is pretty much useless do you know what let me tell you something about this silly tripod yeah we're trying to fry stew on that that's what we're doing but in the process we're gonna talk yeah that's what i want to do tonight my day has been going a bit upside up, but you know what? I'm gonna talk. So you're gonna listen to me whilst you watch me cook this delicious delicacy which I'm about to eat. Now that this tripod has come to an end, the usage has come to an end, right? I'm just gonna give you a bit of history about it. So I found this um, tripod on Instagram and it was supposed to be one of those ones that you know it's that it's like a long one it stands and it's like a sensor it pretty much moves with you that's what it's meant to do so you're in the kitchen you're cooking you're having fun you're moving around and it's also moving around with you and yeah that's what it's meant to be so um during christmas now i received this in the post and i thought to myself oh oh who thought of me who was that thoughtful person that thought oh do you know what i've just opened my youtube channel i'm gonna need all these gadgets to make everything all easy and nice so they thought oh you know what i'll send her a nice tripod stand so i asked everyone i asked my sisters i said guys which one of you actually sent me this and then they said they said um that wasn't me. Everyone was like, not me, not me. And I was like, wait, so if it's not you guys, right? Hold on a second, I'm just going to try and improvise now with what I've got. So I said, wait a minute guys, so if it's, if it's, not, if it's not you that got me this, right? Then who could it be? Because this can't possibly be the tripod I paid $25 for. I highly doubt that it is. It can't be, it better not be, because that is a right broad daylight scam. Well, let's just say I haven't heard anything from that. I haven't heard anything about the delivery ever since I made that purchase. So I'm guessing this is what I paid $25 for. I'm not buying anything from Instagram again. 
it's just ridiculous because what you see there my experience it's not exactly what i got back is it ridiculous now couldn't even serve me for up to a month and it's broken 25 dollars you know 25 dollars for this crap to be fair it was quite useful but honestly i swear it's like five pounds on ebay anyway like i say we move right we move so no, I'm gonna need this thing to fry like the proper fry. I want it to be like sizzling. So you, I actually don't want to see you. I want you out of my sight. Mm, honestly, this is not what I was going for. Like it's meant to be like proper sizzling and. <sighs> I'm gonna cover it. Technically, you shouldn't cover it. I'm gonna season it. Bit of salt. Bit of. I use the season a lot, it's smoky jalapeno and stuff. I don't know, maybe it's because I just like the twisting and the makes me feel like I'm in one Italian restaurant where they're just like, do you want some cheese? I just like that. Right, I'm gonna use some Maggie Q. Look, if you're African and you don't use Maggie Q, what are you even cooking? So now, while I was trying to while away time, I need to find out and Google how to YouTube a blocked dishwasher. I am not happy. By the way, fix my hair on Saturday. Actually, it was a Sunday night. Yeah, have to get something done to it. This is the most practical hairstyle to have in this pandemic because I'm not about to be brushing hair and all this stuff every morning i mean my morning routine is mental enough as it is right let's check this right okay so this is what the shoe is looking like at the moment and i think i'm gonna have to put a little bit more oil to make it fly apparently it turns out that the um dishwasher i had to do a few checks right and it doesn't look like my filters are dirty because I've just cleaned them. That's not what is stopping the drainage. Um, apparently, we're supposed to pull out the dishwasher and check that the drain pipe at the back is not stiff. Now, I can't do that. I actually kind of pull out the drain because I just can't do it. That's beyond my DIY, my DIY stuff, right? So, which means for me, I interpret that as we have to call somebody to come and check it. First of all, who am I going to call? Secondly, when is the person going to be available? Thirdly, I don't really want anyone in the house. It's a bloody pandemic. I'm trying to be as careful as possible. And the worst of it all, I am going to be without a dishwasher. That is literally, I'm not even joking and I'm not even trying to sound like a drama queen or whatever, but that is like my worst nightmare. I mean, it's my, it's my worst nightmare. I have enough to another pack of years. The last thing I need is a bloody broken dishwasher. I'm going to be washing my hands, my dishes in my hands. Are you kidding? What? No, 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 no. 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 Oh, I feel sorry for myself, babe. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna put a bit more oil in here. I really shouldn't, but do you know what? I'm gonna be going very naughty tonight. Because I feel like this this shoe is just, it's just not frying. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. Just fry already. Right, should we check on the fish and the potato and all that milaki? I think we should. Right, okay, looks like I'm gonna have to turn this over. It's time to turn the fish over. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, 
your kids are gonna eat. Oh no. <laughs> oh mate, what is going on today? Oh this is an absolute disaster. Oh God's sick. Yo, yo. It's not whole fish anymore. Oh great. Okay. Alright, anyway. I tried. But whatever man. At this point, I've lost all the will to cook. Okay, should we pop a side of stew, shall we? All right then. Are you burning? Is it burning? Is it burning? Yeah, I don't think so. We're gonna eat it like that. I, at this point, I'm knackered. Listen, it's sweating, cats and dogs under my top and on my head. I'm sweating like mad, yeah. Honestly, this tripod did me wrong though, because now I have to cook with one hand and hold this thing with one hand. Like, that is not on at all. But you know what? It's okay, whoever it is that's scamming me. It's all gravy, you know, like, because we move in it, we move. Right, anyway. Actually, this is what I want. I want you to see the stew because this is the look I was actually going for originally. So I'm glad that, you know, it finally, 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 even though it's a bit burnt. I finally got the look I was going for, so something's working tonight. What, what is that sound? What's going on with this dishwasher? I hope I didn't set it again. Right, so this is what I did, right? I tried to fix it myself. I tried to do it a bit of um, DIY, right? You know what I did? I got a bit of vinegar and a bit of baking powder and a bit of hot water, poured it down the Poured it down the drain, nothing happened. Um, so I've emptied it, obviously. <laughs> so now I've just closed the door, right? I don't know what's going on. Like, this might be a bad idea because I've closed the door and I can hear funny sounds. Now, have I pressed the button that has accidentally set it all the way from the beginning again? Or has somebody prematurely opened? the dishwasher whilst it wasn't done hence why it didn't drain but that can't be right i feel like if i open it now if i don't open it now this is this this could be two things right this could be bad news or this could be great news now the fact that this is washing could be bad news in the sense that if the drain is actually really blocked and it's still washing it's going to make situations 10 times worse now the good news could be that the drain is actually not blocked but it didn't finish the wash. I don't know. I'm honestly, I really don't. I'm panicking. Like, this is my panic face. Okay, now back to the food. Now I'm feeling very great because it's looking good. Better than I expected. I was able to put the fish together. Let me give you a view. This is out of the oven. Everything is looking ready to eat. Since I've dismantled this fish, I'm gonna try and plate it up now and try and revive the shape somehow. So. so this is what it's looking like. Check out this bad boy. I was able to put the fish together. Right. Um, sweet potato, nice and crispy. Plantain. Looking great. That fried stew. Oh, look at that. So good. Right, okay then, I'm about to dig in. I'm gonna call everyone for dinner, but I can highly guarantee that no one's gonna respond to my call anyway. Right, update on the dishwasher. I'm actually very nervous to open this. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Drained, baby. Dishwasher, I don't know why I didn't close this, but dishwasher is drained. Oh, yes. Listen, you, you don't know how I'm feeling right now. Like, listen, I, I wasn't going to wash a lot of this. No, I wasn't going to do that. Not tonight. <laughs> I feel so great, though. <laughs> this is the best feeling in the world. Oh. Let's dig in and give this a try. This is best eating with. Amazing. I don't know what's more amazing now. The fact that this food is so good or the fact that I don't have to wash those dishes. Honestly, I feel so great. 
thank you so much for watching my channel <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you later dinner time i don't think they're gonna answer me anyway <laughs>